what's going on everyone so guys what's really going on today got my old school dell laptop here it's a super old laptop this laptop was made for windows vista but it's got windows 10 on it absolutely perfect for our tech stream software tech stream it's a software that toyota mechanics use to do a lot of diagnostics troubleshooting and calibration of your vehicle and we just happen to have the software loaded onto this laptop flip side the actual tech stream setup is a ibm laptop that has the software built in on the system big beefy system and it costs a lot of money but this particular software that i had purchased off of ebay for fifty dollars it's been a while actually that i used the software it's more than likely the version that you guys are probably using is probably a bit newer than mine but you know we still gonna uh, shake right on roll with it this is my old laptop that i loaded the tech stream software on that's the software there it comes with this obd2 connector all right so this is the end piece where it connects to your vehicle and it's got a usb connection going to the back of here we're going to basically test this software out to see if we're able to diagnose what the issue we are experiencing with our lexus is250 all right guys this is my lexus is 250 oh, golly i haven't really tried to do this with a laptop in here there we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect our cable connect our obd to scan cable underneath here so my particular port is right here so there we go she's connected now we're going to connect this other end to my laptop Open up the laptop. <laughs> Mobile mechanic. That's that's the name of this laptop. <laughs> that's basically all I use it for is to troubleshoot. Again, this is a really old laptop, so it's slow. Alright, so now we got text string coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button twice. One, two. And that's basically putting the vehicle in onto the ignition on position. So what we want to do is go to connect to vehicle. It's going to do its reading. Initializing the USB connection. TechStream is trying to communicate to the OBD2 scan. And then it's going to establish communication to our vehicle. So it sees exactly what's going on. This is a Lexus IS250 and the model is 2006. And the engine is 4GR-FSE. So we have to select an option. So we're gonna select four wheel drive for all wheel drive. And now we're gonna select next. So there's a lot of options here with this tech stream software. I'm just pretty much using the software to identify what is causing our check engine light as you can see we could do a health check we could do ecu programming and some other functionalities okay i'm gonna double click on engine that's gonna take me to the option so that way we can check our check engine light we have two codes p0172 and p0175 which is system two rich first one is bank one second one is bank two 
So what I could do is select this engine icon at the bottom and this basically will allow us to store and clear this code. So I'm gonna go ahead and select clear. Okay, so now it's been cleared. All right, so now that is gone. Uh, let's see, let's look at view monitors. Currently got the car running. Kind of want to see some uh, live data. All right, so this is the information we are getting under monitor information. Definitely need to look at O2 sensor, but I'm not going to click on each and every one of them. I just want you guys to see the options that are here. Okay, let's close that. Let's do active test. And just to let you see, the check engine light is gone. So these are some active tests that you can select. It all depends on what you need, such as cylinder compression. It basically tells you exactly what to do, the steps. Some pretty, pretty, pretty cool options are here. Now, I'm not going to really get into those options. I honestly just needed this tool to check the engine code, clear it, start, restart the vehicle, see if it comes back. That's honestly what I needed to do. This particular version, there are some features that it needs to communicate to the actual tech stream Toyota server. But this particular software package that I have, this version, I'm not able to establish that connection and you know, we know why, I'm just saying. So let's double check on ABS, double click on ABS. Uh, not a lot of tests will allow you to actually look up ABS codes. So I am getting a code C0125, C1223 and C1336. So I did replace my wheel speed sensors. I did replace them. It was not OEM parts. So it's likely that's the reason why we're getting these codes. All right, and it was definitely a real speed sensor back there of which I had to replace, but it wasn't OEM. It, when I replaced it, it worked, but I think it was like a year later or something of that nature. Then it came back. But anyway, you guys can see this software is able to diagnose that. All right. So we're going to go back to system select. Let's see what else. Do, 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 do. Ah, four wheel drive. Let's check that out. All right. So we got an ABS manual function. Mal your function. Let's hit the search button. This just says my function is present. <laughs> okay, I know exactly. That's because of the wheel speed sensors. That's why we're getting that. Uh, let's see what else is cool that we can check. I don't even want to even click on <laughs> airbags. No siree. No pre collision. No sir. Oh yeah, driver's seat. Let's see, can we get to the driver's seat? Selected system is not responding or available. Please check repair menu. Yeah, I don't know if that actually works with this particular vehicle. But yeah, for, for what I need it for to basically, you know, check the engine, uh, ABS, the drivetrain, you know, four wheel drive. This is awesome. Yeah, let's look at ECT. Okay, so we're not getting anything for ECT. So the actual tech stream, it looks just like this. It's a laptop with the software on. It looks similar to the laptops that first responders use. I believe those are like these uh, rugged IBM laptops that are pretty much built to sustain damage and like, uh, I believe like, you know, other type of, uh, you know spills or something like that nature 
might have to come back to this because uh 26 minutes left on my battery my laptop battery so she's about to she's about to go no more check engine light coats but i know exactly what triggered the check engine to come on uh one i don't drive the vehicle that often as i used to this used to be my daily driver so i need to drive it more often to get the carbon deposits out um, and two i need to change my pcv valve as well as claim my mass airflow sensor i did other things uh such as i replaced the mass airflow sensor i replaced valve cover gaskets intake gaskets i cleaned the intake i cleaned the throttle body I uh, did spark plugs, man, it, there's, there's a lot of things that I've done to this vehicle, uh, but I did not do the PCV valve replacement. <laughs> Hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has, uh, please hit that like button and consider to subscribe to the, please, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I got more videos on the way. I'm also going to do a video of me actually replacing the pcv valve on this bad boy peace